Alrighty guys, there she is. It looks like a flying saucer. It's so, it's so unique. That wallpaper is absolutely stunning. How incredible is that? Oh, wow. Do you know, I always find it fascinating how paper actually survives that long. I've never been to a property really like this. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. And that is the original My Little Pony. Oh my God, it's immaculate. Who the hell okay. puts carpet in the bathroom? That's beautiful. Oh shit, Yeah, the no way. do clean them teeth. Oh my god, it's gleaming. I've never seen that before. This is worth 2.5 million after being abandoned for a decade. What's up guys and welcome back to Katie Carlson Explores and today we're exploring Al Harry's house. It's not Al Harry. It's not Harry. <laughs> just call How do you say it? No, we all just call it the American house, all right? And you're gonna see why. And you know what? You have brought an American with you to enjoy oh the god, American house. America. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Al Harry. Al Harry. Al Harry. Al Harry. I don't know. What's up guys and welcome back to Kaylee Colson Explores and today we're exploring Al Harry's house. Alrighty guys, so today I'm here with my gorgeous boyfriend proving demons. What's good, what's good? We are back on the grind. So before I get this video started, I have to make a massive apology. I haven't uploaded in like two and a half weeks and that is not like me, but life's been pretty shit. As I say, things are getting better. So being positive, we're just gonna go exploring today. And I've been told this place is literally impossible to get into but I'm up for the challenge. So from what I can gather, I believe it's been abandoned for about 10 to 15 years. It could be, well, it could really be longer. I have no idea exact dates, um, but this place is like an American themed sort of mansion. Oh. So it's kind of been described to me as like the cabin in the woods. And I love that sort of vibe, you know, that kind of horror sort of creepy sort of, I don't, I don't want to describe it. It's just creepy and it's kind of cool. Anyway, on that note, we have just parked up. Um, I didn't film myself getting here, obviously, because this place is mental um, and it's got a lot of bandos. Oh, so God, there's rich people. Yeah. <laughs> they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mansions left, right, and center. It's, yeah, it's gorgeous, actually. Yeah, it's incredible. I honestly think these mansions that we stood around are at least a minimum of eight to nine bedrooms. So, as I say, we're in quite a good bit, like a bit of a bit of the country. Well, look, keep keep uploading on YouTube uh, the way we are, and we'll, <laughs> we'll be, have one. One day we'll be living <laughs> out, out in the street. We'll see. We'll, try. we'll just wait till one goes abandoned and claims squatters' rights. <laughs> let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. We're technically homeless anyway. Come on, exactly. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. On that note, guys, I will see you at the mansion. Let's roll. All right, so we've just got to the road. Um, we've had to take a little trek, but it's not too bad. And it's saying on here, it's called Hillside House. So we do have two other mansions. We've got one there and one just around the corner. So we're going to have to be careful of those two. Um, we should be fine. No, we'll be all right. We'll, yeah. be, we'll be nice. Let's just do it. Yeah. <laughs> we've already scoped it out anyway. We know exactly where the entrance is. Well, yeah. we, we know how to get on the property. It's... Yeah, just in case to find a way in. All right, guys, so we are literally on the property. Well, on the roadside going up to the property. I pray we get in. Quick. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay, all right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Battle in the bushes. Oh, all right. So we are on the property. I've been told this is borderline impossible to get into, so I really hope we do find a way in. All righty, guys, there she is. This is so cute. So you guys see what I mean now? It's kind of like, I guess cabin in the woods kind of style. I believe that's an entry, isn't it? Is it really? Uh, <laughs> no fucking way! It's definitely not no impossible way. to get in. It's wide open, miss. Oh my god. Right. I'm genuinely so pumped we're here. All right, well, in and out, proper ninja style, and we'll, uh... Yeah? We'll see what happens. Let's make it quickly, because there's a, there's a housing estate just behind me, and they're looking. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm just gonna give you your bag. Oh, God, that's so heavy. Yeah. Why'd you carry that round? Crazy. Trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> Tuck it in the sink, it's fine. I got it, I got oh it. Oh my god, I'm five foot five. Shit, hang on. Babe. I'm not going to scare her, but I think I just heard a noise. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to do the job. You're going to pop up against the bed. You know that part I said about being a ninja? You're so bad at being a ninja. <laughs> I'm slipping. No, no, you're, you're up. To get... I'm slipping. I'm slipping down the hole. I'm a pro explorer. What are you about? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. You're up. Other knee up. Yeah, you're, you're in. You're in. Yay! You're in. I'm wearing jeans that is slipping on the paint. It's all good. Right. She's failed ninja, ninja training, clearly. <laughs> How the hell have you been an explorer this long? I don't even know. I don't even know why you guys watch me, but you're here. Ah, well, you know. Fucking easy. It only took like... I don't know what took you so long. 20 minutes as long as 
All right, full disclaimer, okay? <laughs> I'm wearing slippy jeans and I'm slightly out of practice, all right? So I need to go to the gym. I need to work on a few calories. It's fine, but we're here. <laughs> all right, guys, so you've just seen me clamber through that window. I did a beautiful job. Let me know down below, 10 out of 10, am I right? But I believe we are in a bathroom. It's really hard to work out this is a bathroom because it's giving me sort of bedroom style. Well, it's definitely- It looks very- uh, It's a room with a bath. It's definitely a bathroom. I think, no, I think it might be a bedroom. It's a library. Oh shit, I've got, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Oh my God. <laughs> Babe, there's your worst fear. Oh yeah. All yes. over the wall. Oh my God. That wallpaper is absolutely stunning though, on a real note. I mean. Pretty. Stunning, yes, I love it. It's pretty, all the colors. All righty, so we've got another bathroom. Oh God, the blue. I know it sounds really crazy. That color is actually just eyeful. Not obviously the best condition guys, but still pretty. Okay, real talk for a mansion. Um, it feels a bit cramped in here. See, I think this is more of like a cabin in the woods sort of vibe. So yeah. I don't I don't think it's necessarily a mansion, obviously. Um, it's obviously an estate with mansions, but I think, yeah, we're just looking yeah. more like a cute kind of house. Is this all storage? Storage. Anything in the drawers? Nope, it's been cleared out this so far. Oh, okay. We're Anything up there? In terms of conditions for all our current account, okay. How okay, just for that, yeah. Yeah, this was his name though. Miss DJ Anderson lives here. Oh. Clearly. Is there a date on the letter? Uh, Might give us an indication. 2014. 2014? So that letter was mailed here, 14. Math, Sanders, so seven years ago? Yeah. Well, it's not too, that's not too bad. I've been told it's been about for about 10, 15 years, but you never know. Yeah, well, it looks it. It definitely looks it. All right, guys, so we've obviously just made our way into the first part of the house. And as you can see, we've got ourselves kind of more of a shell, but I love so far the natural like architecture and stuff. So we've got natural decay, obviously in the corners. So as I say, so you've got obviously all your all your paint peeling around here, there. So you've got natural decay. And what I really love is nature is taking it back. Oh yeah. How incredible is well, that? All it took was a window to be slightly cracked. And yeah. Mother nature's like mine, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. Look at that door. What, is that a glass door? It's a glass door. It's gotta be a shower, surely. No. This no, is, it's not. It's right through the rest of the house. Oh my God, how weird is that? I honestly thought that'd have been a shower room. Yeah. Well, let's do the room behind you first and make our way upstairs. Oh, talk about Oh, wow. It's 70s vibes in here. Yeah, wow. this is 70s. Very yellow. And look at the newspaper, babe. Right, we've got a date on it. Um, Friday, August 27th, what's that, 1982, I believe? 19... It looks like 82. Yeah, 82, 1982. Oh my God. Do you know, I always find it fascinating how paper actually survives that long. Sweet. I will never understand how it does that, but this is beautiful. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they laid it out for painting purposes. I don't know, because it's no, do you know, I wonder if Urban Explorers have actually done this. Just to have a look. Just, yeah, to demonstrate it. I don't know why they put it on the floor, but either way, it's actually quite fascinating how it's all still, it's pretty good condition, you know. I also love the fact we've got a, there she is. <laughs> So guys, what I'm really liking about this property so far is, I don't know if any of you have watched um, the documentary Life After Us. So it's basically all about what would happen if, if everything went abandoned. And it really fascinated me, the fact that nature will literally reclaim everything we know and have. Um, and I feel like I'm sort of doing that right now, you know, because I've, I've, I've never been to a property really like this. It's very character kind of yeah, no, this properties is, in it. This is too much character for me. Like, yeah. Why, yeah. why is there stone on the inside? Oh shit. Yeah, that's... God, that's absolutely freezing as well. It's quite a nice day, so to be honest, it must be horrible, like and cold living here. Yeah, with a house worth this much, you would have thought they would have tried a little harder to decorate it. Yeah. So, guys, I believe that is our front door. So that was the the mansion I was talking about over there. Um, I'm believing that's about twelve bedrooms. So whoever owns that has got good money. Um, so yeah, front door being here, and obviously they've locked it that side, but left the window wide open. How weird is that window? And this, I believe that that's got to be a lever for something. I don't know what, but. Yeah, that would probably be the lever for the window, but it's... Maybe for this window below us. Yeah, it needs a key to So open strange. <laughs> oh my God, that is so beautiful. I love stairways in abandoned buildings. That's one of my favorite parts and kitchens, obviously. Okay, so make up the stairs. It's not, it's not too bad. It's a little bit, it feels like it's about to bow. Yeah. Obviously it's guys, it's wood. So it's probably got wood, wood rot and stuff and it's probably swollen from obviously moisture. Yeah. Shit, this place is huge. I think we've been bamboozled. What? I was told this was the American mansion. No, 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 oh, no. 
This is the American cabin, and the American mansion is just down the road. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we'll go and hit that up today as well. And have a look yeah, there. Okay, I've been bamboozled. Yeah, no, no, it's just a different one. Screw this place, no. no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> So guys, just put it into perspective, that was where, just around that corner is where the stairway is. We've got, uh, it's not even a bedroom, this looks like almost like a bar. Or some sort of massive living room. I don't know, Th then again though, downstairs, it didn't seem to have a living room, did it? Yeah, look, straight up, this is, this is something right out of the 1970s. I mean, like, I would imagine mustard couches here, mm. TV, a bunch of people straight out of that 70s show smoking the spliff. Yeah. This is a very odd mansion. Like I personally, even though the size of it and how much it's worth, I wouldn't even want to live somewhere like this. This feels like um, a kind of like a party house for the summer. You know, when you go with all your friends, you go away and rent something. Yeah. I feel like this is very American vibes and sense of like, you know, venue style. Yeah, it's not. It's not your typical abandoned it's house. Not my <laughs> I'd love this. All right, so around the corner, obviously just down there is where we entered through the window just below us. And yet again, we've got, oh, I'm trying to work this out guys, but this looks like a kitchenette. And obviously there's a kitchen downstairs. And there's a kitchen over there too. Is there? There's multiple kitchens. In there. Yeah, so that's really weird because look at these cases behind. So I'm assuming either glasses would have set up here or crockery or something, or you never know, even ornaments. But it is very American themed. Oh shit, the dividers. It does. Don't, don't shut it all the way because you get locked in, we're, we're fucked. <laughs> That's interesting. Have you ever seen Yeah, open plan. Like, like, look at this, right? Oh, it's nice. Yeah, no, the, the wood's swollen down there, you're not going to move it. Wooden dividers to block off rooms. Mm. That is like they tried to go for House of the Future vibes. Yeah, yeah. Like, it just came out so retro, it's not even funny. I love it. I really love this place. What, would you actually live in a place like this? Yeah, I'd, I'd move in it tomorrow. If they said I could have the keys, I'd, I'd do it. Really? Yeah, this is my kind of home. See guys, with properties like this, so everyone always says, oh, it's got to be time capsules to be the biggest and best. But then again, one of these sort of properties is a 70s, I'd say maybe, maybe 80s style. And they are quite rare to come by. So you do get them in the urbex game, but they are getting harder and harder to find. So being in this, as I say, it's technically a shell. There's obviously, I'm going to take you around the other rooms because there's other bits and bobs to look at. But the main design, like even this light, is so unique. You know, that is not a style we'd use today. And I love it. That's exactly what the style, it looks like a flying saucer. The light would come down. Yeah, the it. bulb would probably be sat just where my hand is. So yeah, yeah. And like I say, you never know this, this bit in particular. This could have been for games, so they could have had a table underneath, plate and poker, pool table. Do you not find no this one knows. Drawers in the wall. Why? This is so weird. It is weird. There's no need for that. Yeah, and a hatch as well. It's like just get, Ooh. just just get a dresser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we put drawers in the walls. <laughs> oh, babe, look at this wallpaper. Oh, wow. Look how faded and gorgeous it's gone. I have a question, and maybe I don't know if you know the answer, and if the audience says, let okay. us know. I've noticed every room has a yellow streak. Yes. On the wall. Yeah, I was trying to work that out. Um, I, yeah, I've been seeing it. I don't understand the purposes of it. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't have any texture to it. It's not greasy. It's not dusty. All I can think is that's water that's spilled down there yeah, but and why? discolored behind. I don't know. But Almost every room has at least one yellow strip. It might have just been put on there. On I don't know. Don't know. Right, so I'm going through to the next room. Yet again, I'll just show you behind me. I think this may be like a miniature office or something. It's hideous. It's just beautiful. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Straight up, I would never want a mansion or a big house. I love the kind of cabin vibes and the bungalow vibes. So this property for me would be an 100%. I would love to have it. Um, but it's just a little bit strange, but I like strange. I don't like the normal modern day houses. I, I do it obviously for the urbex, but I mean, living in, I wouldn't want that for my own personal like, preference. So this would really work for me. I like it. This is hideous. This is hideous in my opinion. See, this gives me vibes, you know, like science drawers when you're in school. Yeah, it feels it's, like, it's like where Bunsen and Burner should be sat. It feels like a classroom. Yeah. Or a science lab, yeah. Um, oh, shit, what size does that be? Hello, yeah. B. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, let's try and find some history in this place. I'm really, really interested. We get a little bit of signal and we're going to find out how much this place is actually worth. Take a guess how much this is worth. I'm going to guess about 2.1 million. 
2.5 million oh, in shit. this condition. This is not even a mini really? condition. This is worth 2.5 million after being abandoned for a decade. Fuck oh, off. Cool. Okay, it? if it was fully done, I'd understand that, but abandoned, that's not almost, really. This is why it's abandoned. No one's bought it. Look at it. It's. The only reason I was guessing two million in the first place is because obviously the estate were on. But were you guessing two million based on if it was in pristine condition? I was basing it purely on the area. This is the most, this area we're in now is the wealthiest area in the entire country. You know, to be fair. Celebrities live here. I, I actually, that. I'm going to take you after this. I'm going to take you to a celebrity mansion and you're going to know the guy. As soon as I take you up the driveway, you're going to be shocked. To be fair. I'm looking at some of the other houses in the area. They look so nice. This is just the oddball. I am mm. not in any I love way. It. I'm not in any way surprised that it didn't yeah. work out. All right, so going back through the main corridor. Ooh, hello. What? <laughs> okay, hold on to the rail because that felt a bit weird, that panel. I'm just going to step over it. Okay. Yeah, as I say, guys, we're walking through. And yet again, this is <laughs> another know. kitchen. What the hell? How is this worth 2.5 million? That's wood. That's fake marble. It's hang wood. on, hang on. This is. That's wood. This is right, so everything here is just generic, like, resources, so I'm quite surprised it's up for 2.5. It is a mansion worth 2.5 million and they don't even have real marble. Even, the, have... even the taps, I believe that's plastic. No, it is metal, no, my bad. Obviously the caps are plastic, but... Yeah, no, I'm gonna level with you. This is gorgeous. As I say, I would happily have this and, and do it as a project, but... For 2.5 million? Really? I would take it on for like 400,000, but I wouldn't pay any more for that. What's that? My little pony, ah. my little pony. That just goes, <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's the vintage no, one. That's not a sticker. Is it not? That's how it came. Oh my god, it's no, it's been crafted on there. How cringe oh, is that? Wow. No, darling, you know what these are? Look, these are the vintage style. Um, uh, is it Donald Duck? Daffy Duck? Uh, yeah, that's a baby D Donald yeah. Duck, yeah. And that is the original My Little Pony. Fuck. So they purposely made it to look like the, out of the 70s? No, darling, I think it might have been, you know. Or it was This just... estate has been here for a long ass uh, time. Okay, so so this could have actually 70s. been an, an original 70s build. All right, let's try the oven. Oh my God, it's immaculate. It's actually clean. What? Clean oven. Okay, except guys, except from the, the, obviously the trays, the main oven itself is in, well, I'd say borderline pristine condition. There's a bit of mold on the side, but in general, that's not bad. That's really not bad. And this, a steam oven. Oh, <gasps> oh my God, it's gleaming. Look at that. Did you see how it opens and closes though? Look at this. What the fuck? I've never seen that before. It's so- What's this? Hang on, there's something, it, what is it? Oh, it's it's for the water. It's gonna, yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, water yeah, for the actual the steam oven steam itself. Oven, yeah. How crazy is that? I've never in all of my years seen that. Bloody hell. It's another sink. Why? Who, who in their right mind needs 20 sinks in their house? I don't get this place. It's, defi it's definitely to rent out. It's 100%. But looking around at it, this has got to be for people in the summer as, uh, like, a, as like a summer home. I'm positive this room would be for washer and dryer. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, it would be. So just behind you, hang on. So just down here, all of this piping would have been the, the water lines for the washing and drying. Let's see what looking at. Hang on. Oh, it won't open. No, it's too old. Oh, what? Oh, wow, look, some more hidden drawers. Oh, that's so cool. Look, yeah, again, more like science vibes. I don't know if they're gonna open. No, they've been fused, it's been so many. Oh, hang on, actually. Oh, you just need to... Oh, okay, we've got cleaning cleaning stuff. Scouring pads, nice, nice. Anything in here? No, that one's just not gonna budge. This one, unfortunately, has gone over it. Holy shit, look at the garden. Oh, there's the one The swing... garden is huge. I know, look at the swing set there too. That's like straight up out of my childhood, oh the my red God. and blue poles. Yeah, yeah, it is. There's a robin sat on the top of it. Oh, hi. Guys, this property is enormous. It goes all the way over the brow of the hill and it, and it tucks down. Okay, this is probably why it's so expensive because the property that comes with it and oh, the privacy. The land, yeah. yeah. To be honest with you, it's probably worth 2.5 million currently because they want someone to buy it, knock it down and build a better mansion. I agree. No, I completely agree. Because a mansion around us, the mansions around us are easily worth five to ten million. Oh, and the rest. Yeah, now. fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. this is the ugliest, <laughs> weirdest mansion I've I ever seen. I feel like been. we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one because I've never been more in love with a building in my life. I would literally move here tonight if they gave me the option. You'd be moving on your own. <laughs> 
So there we are. You can tell the difference in the sense of taste. I know a lot of urban, urban explorers, sorry. Um, some of them like the modern style, some like the vintage, some like the crazy, and some just like the more generic, you All know, right. thing. And I'm, I just, I think it's a vibe. I really am not against this. There's a, there's a few more rooms, guys. I think there's another three or four. Um, always around those, and I'm going to go check out the garden because I believe also I saw a log cabin walking in, babe, just around the corner. So I think we should check it out. So we have a built-in to the walls bench. Oh my god, it's so obviously sweet. shoe covered. So whoever, <laughs> Bill and I, when he wakes up in the morning, the science guy putting his lab coat on and shoes. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, you're baffled by this, aren't I'm you? I'm baffled. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But that's quite, I quite like this. So you've got yourself your little seating area. I don't know why you'd need it at the top of the stairway. Yeah, again, it's Because it's too it's cold perfect. down there because there's the freaking walls are made of stone. <laughs> that's probably why the living room's upstairs. It's fucking bitterly cold down there. Even today, it's, it's not actually bad weather and it's, it is no, quite cold it's, in there. It's quite nice outside. It's freezing in here. Yeah, yeah. And then you have salmon pink with <gasps> fucking blue. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Not in the sense of design, like for my own home, but I'm in the sense of like, it's still as it was. I love that. Look at the shower heads as well. They're so tiny back then. Yeah. Look at it, it's dinky. I like it though, because it's simple. These days they've got all these dials that normally sit here and it's just a bit hectic. Look at that. It's so simple, user-friendly. Push that down for the bath, pull it up for the shower and you've got your taps. That's all you really need. I, I know this is crazy again. So I'm, I'm really obsessed with natural okay because I love buildings being taken back by nature, not by people. This, for example, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the whole graffiti thing. I don't think it's very acceptable, but this on the other hand is absolutely incredible. So you can see here, this board would have been tacked against, against here. And what's happened is all of the tiles over time have all fallen into the bath because the natural decay has actually bowed the wood. So that is simply where we've got, that's probably quite, yeah, you can see it's damp. So when you get moisture into wood, obviously it starts to swell. When it swells, obviously it destroys things. And then you get this beautiful ripple effect and you can see all up in the rooftop up there. It's, it's just happened all over the house. Nature really is taking back this property. Now let's take our focus off the roof and let's have a comment about the carpeted floor in the bathroom. This is carpet. What? Who the hell okay. puts carpet in the bathroom? Yeah, okay. I didn't see that. That's Ooh. wrong. Oh. That's wrong. But that's wrong. Oh, shit. Yeah, they got to do clean them teeth. <laughs> I know where these came from. What? When you go to the dentist, they give these to kids. When, you've, when yeah. you go and get a tooth taken out or you're brave, they give these to you. So I guarantee this was a family home and these were the kids popping them on the wall. I guarantee it, I'm that confident. All right, I will give it props for one thing, right? I know I'm talking a lot of smack about the place because I personally, we're looking for a new place to live. Yeah. And this is just not on. But <laughs> I will give it props. Finding an actual retro mansion with literally Fred Flintstone mm -hmm. in here. That just sells it. This, I'm, I'm sold, yeah. I want this place. Yeah, again, we've got that gorgeous blue, borderline teal. I know on the camera guys, it looks electric blue, but it's more kind of teal blue design. I love it. It's absolutely lush. Okay, so making my way back through. Yeah. That carpet was soaked. Did you hear that squish? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is the last time. Fuck. Is. The wardrobe's huge. That's a bit unnecessary, isn't it? Mm. Jesus Christ, that's, it's huge. In America, that's quite normal, actually. Is it? Mm. Wow. All right, and we have our last room, which is really, really odd. The fact that the door... <laughs> Hang on, look at this. I love this. The door is hanging okay. over the edge. Well. Like, no. the, the drop's actually quite big down there. Why, why would you... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm baffled by that. Why would you have a door, like, hanging over the edge of the house? Why would you have a door to the outside in your master bedroom? And there's also, I've seen several doors in bedrooms, which mm. doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I think you might be right in the sense of maybe this was used for, like, a business purpose opposed to a living purpose. No, because we saw the kids' stickers in the bathroom. It's just, it looks like and feels like a it laboratory. It feels like a science block. It feels like a laboratory. Yeah. Like honestly, when I used to go to school, they used to have all these cupboards. So you'd have all your aprons in that one. You'd have goggles there and you'd have like bunts and burners that one. It really does feel like a science it, block. It looks like a fucking classroom. Yeah. This master bedroom, even look at the floor, is tiled. Yeah, what, hang on, is that actually tiled? Mm. Yeah, it is. It's so strange. Oh darling, there's your swing set. Look, you can see it now. We're closer to it. Okay, we go play on it before we leave. Yeah, I can't wait to get on that. It's gonna be a right laugh. <laughs> oh, hello. Andrew, look away, look look away. Stop looking, look away. Stop <laughs> Are they trying to sell the Corsa or are they trying to sell? This is back in the good old days when hot girls and champagne sold cars. Wow. 
But the thing Good is, advertising. this particular car is not a very nice car. Look, at there's the interior. No, darling, they're not trying to sell the car. They're trying to sell that really discreet glass of champagne. They just put the car there for aesthetics. Ignore the Corsa. That's, that's, just, that's just there. They're all about the champagne. You can just tell. Look at her smile. She's like, oh my God, look at that bubbly girl. See? Smart. <laughs> People were weird back in 1990s times. I know, I know. Han, on a real talk though, I'm going to check for um, the date. So Friday, October 11th, 2013. Oh so God. we found two articles, 2013 and 2014. What's this one? Oh, it's the same, it's same page. Face so. to face with the Batberg. Do you know what a Batberg is? Uh, no, never all seen right. that. I'll tell you real quick, they're quite interesting. So obviously I've done a lot of underground sewers all across London and everything for old explorers, right? A fatberg is when people pour grease down in their sinks and it goes into the sewer system okay. and it all collects, builds up and blocks it. So people will literally, they have to go down, this is their job and I'm so sorry if you are a fatberg cleaner. They have to go into the sewers completely submerged in scuba gear in human feces to then grab oh. a ball of grease that could be up to this big, block oh. in the sewer and break it apart so that the basically the feces Seriously. doesn't get on the street. Yeah. Is that like a real job? That's a real thing, yeah. Could they not just put chemicals down it instead? No, you gotta get a person down there to, to sort it. Oh God. That's a fat bird. Oh, poor people. I know, it's horrible. All right guys, they say every day you learn something new and I actually didn't know anything about that. And I feel sorry if we have to do that because obviously that's not really the most, it's not the best job in the world, let's be honest. Um, wow, it's crazy. I didn't even, I've never even heard of that as a job. It's wild. You wanna learn something new guys? If you didn't know, if you're not from uh, this part of London. <laughs> You get wild parrots here. Parrots? Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, real talk. We found an entire tree full of them. They were the, um, what type of parrot were they again? Oh, God, what's they were green. Um, they parakeets. were green. Parakeets. Yeah, parakeets. yeah. Is it parakeet? Hang on. No, no not yes. parakeet. Green parakeet. Parakeet is the wrong one. It's the green birds. McCall? No, it's the wrong one. Let us know I down know. below. Green birds. If, you, if you're from Southern London, let us know down Comment. below. Yeah, let us know. What have. kind of parrots and why are there parrots uh, in London? They were everywhere. Like, guys, the wall behind me is genuinely the colour of these parrots. Yeah. And there were trees of them. Like, literally, I don't think any tree in that entire vicinity didn't have them. Yeah. It was weird. It's, it's like they've just sad. got loose and then keep breeding and breeding and breeding. And now they're kind of like the equivalent of pigeons. Yeah. So, if you, yeah, anyone who's not from the UK, if you didn't know, Parrots. We have wild parrots here. It's weird. <laughs> in a, in, in a non-tropical country. I know, it's so crazy. I think that might pretty much be the inside, um, but there is a log cabin outside on our, yeah, on our exit. So we'll have a look if we can get right. in. Brilliant. And if we can't, I will see you guys in the outro. Alrighty, so we're making our way out. Um, as I say, I freaking adore this place. I'm rating this a solid, in my personal experience and opinions, 10 out of 10, um, because of, I've not really seen anything like this. Um, right, try not to take 20 minutes to get the window. <laughs> I'll try and make a quicker yeah. exit. Time to not fuck up. <laughs> there's, there's at least a step here for you. Yeah. See, I'm at a disadvantage because I'm genuinely so short. I think that's the struggles. Oh, you okay? It's a ridiculously heavy bag. Wherever you grab, try not to touch these uh, screws here. You got this. Oh, I believe in go. you. There we go, guys. Just do a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> and there she is in all of her bloody glory. I'm so chuffed I got in this place. Um, as I said, I can hear shouting over there at that mansion, so I think we might have to get off the site because I don't want to get in trouble because we've got a lot of buildings on this site today. Um, that's the garden. You walk up that bit to the back, but as I say, I'm not really going to bother. And I think, yeah, as I say, we'll check out that last log cabin and probably make a, uh, make a move. Um, as I say, we are on one of, I believe it's either one of or it is, the richest estate in the entire country. And there's so many abandoned buildings on this. I don't want to get busted here because if I get busted at this place, I can't come back on this estate. So it's just a case of being smooth, getting out of here, and then going to find some other amazing abandoned buildings. All right, guys, so we're just making it back out of the site. Oh, God. And darling, where was, there, there's the cabin, there it is. Unless that's the neighbors. Hang on, I don't know actually. No, that's the neighbors, I think. That may be the neighbors. Yeah, that looks too fresh. That's fresh garbage in that box. Okay, so it's not an abandoned cabin. It's just, just randomly there. Even though the tree, look how, hang on very quickly. I know this is really stupid. I love that. The tree has grown into the shape of the shed. It's grown over it. Oh yeah. <laughs> how sweet. Nature is weird. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, that was a ban at Larry's house. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. All links down below, so please go and check them all out. And if you haven't already, tick on the notification bell. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and I'll catch you shortly. Bye.